Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. So today I want to talk about building elementary school and high school partnerships, right? So today is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how you can build partnerships with local schools, local coaches, and how you can get in front of more uh, athletes. So if you have a look at my screen in front of you, right i've created this step-by-step -step guide right it's a very short one and if you need more help then you can reach out to me visit the description below this video right there's a number of ways that you can reach out to me if you have any questions um or you want any advice any strategies right reach out to me visit the description below um a lot of what i'm going to share today is actually in our sports accelerator program so if this is something you want to learn more about, then again, visit the description below. You can book a free 25 minute call uh, with me. We jump on Zoom, ask you some questions where you currently are, and I can see if you are a good fit for what we have. OK, so in front of me, I've got a very brief step by step guide on how to build elementary school and high school partnerships uh, in your local area. Okay, so I'm going to go through them step by step. And again, I'll repeat again, if you need any more help or advice, description below ways you can get in contact with me. Right. So the first point is research the schools in your local area. Right. This is something I get asked a lot of the time from coaches who I work with, who reach out to me. Um, how can I build these partnerships? Right. So the first one is you've got to know your area. Right, you've got to know your area, you've got to know how many schools are within your local area. And how do you do that? You can go onto Google and just research local schools in my area and, and see what schools you would like to partner with. Okay, are they ele ele elementary schools? Are they high schools? Now, what I would recommend, and this is something that's just from experience and through working with coaches that the private elementary or, or high schools are the ones that are always a little bit more open to doing business with private coaches or trainers or a, a private company, right? Public schools are always a little bit harder, but it's, again, it's not impossible, but what I want to do today is I want to share this with you because you can use the this approach to, to connect with both right public schools or pri private schools as well right but the first thing you want to do you want to research your local area see how many schools are there and based on how many schools you will know who you can reach out to right the next point is what problem can you solve for the coaches of those schools right now a lot of coaches reach out to me and ask me leo how can i build these relationships or these partnerships with these schools and I always say to them, you've got to work out what problem that they have that your company or your business can solve for them. So if you know that maybe the coach is struggling to win games with that school, then that is maybe a problem you got, you can solve. You can come in and help them some shape or form. Right, but you've got to do your research and you've got to study that school and figure out what problems that coach that coach is currently having with their team. Okay, the next one is build a connection with those local schools, right? So building a connection with those local coaches at those schools. And how can you do that? A number of ways you can do that. You can connect through them, connect with them through LinkedIn. That's a very popular one for a lot of coaches uh, we work with. Attend games and tournaments, right? Figure out when that school is playing and see if you can attend matches, games, do an analysis on, on areas of improvement that you could go in and then present it to the coach. Attend tournaments, games, right? So at tournaments, if you, if you attend local tournaments, you could even talk to parents, hand out flyers, if you have permission, obviously, to do so, 
but that's a number of ways that's that's another way you can get in front of more people and in front of more coaches to build these connections right attending games researching on on the teams what are they struggling with what do they need more help with and how what's the problem you can solve uh, school visits directly visit in the school and speaking to a decision maker uh, phone calls so obviously calling the school offering your services presenting yourself uh, you can connect the, connect with them via email mail or even direct messaging through Facebook and, and Instagram. So you could go onto the school website, see who the coach is, and then try and figure out if they have a Facebook or Instagram page that you can then uh, direct message them through there to try and connect and see if you can form some type of partnership through there. All right, so you've got to always make sure you offer value to these schools because if you don't offer something that they're not, that that they don't have, then ultimately they're not going to want to work with you okay so that's why it's really important to research what problems they're having what problems you can solve and offering value or something valuable that they don't already offer to their students right so you can come in and offer it to them right the next one is what services could i offer Okay, so you might be watching this video and thinking, Leo, what, what type of services can I offer uh, these coaches at these local schools? So I've broke down a couple of ideas here in front of me um, of different things you could offer, offer these coaches, right? You could do goalkeeping specific training. It's something that I know a lot of coaches at schools don't have time for. Right, because they're very busy with things off the field. And then when they when they do have their training sessions, everything's more focused on the outfield players and the goalkeepers aren't really getting that that personal attention. Right. So you could come in and offer goalkeeping specific training. Uh, that kind of goes in line with one on one. Right. So you could offer one on one training if there's one on one training, small group training. So if there's players on that team that need extra supplemental help supplemental training okay you could come in there and, and present yourself offer offer your training for free just to try and build a connection build a partnership with them come in work with their defenders with their goalkeepers with their strikers with their midfielders with their wingers right just add a little bit more value to uh, their program and uh, next one strength and conditioning Right, that's something that maybe they do have a strength and conditioning program, but if you're a specialist in this type of niche, then you could add extreme value to them, and you could add something that they they don't have. Okay, because I know most most of these high school coaches, they don't really focus on strength and conditioning, and they don't do it properly. So if you come in and offer this, then again, it's of it's of value. And essentially, you're going to make their players stronger, faster, quicker, and you're going to help the coach to elevate their performance on the field. Uh, skills development, right? So you could run skills development uh, training sessions for them. You could offer it for free. You could offer it as a paid service. Everything focused on passing, receiving, shooting, striking, um, first touch, dribbling, Right. And that's important to know what areas those players need help with. So that's why we need to go and watch them play in their matches. Right. So you can then present something to the coach that that team or that those players are struggling with. Right. So skills development, mental training, how to get more confident, how to how to go through adversity, how to stay you know, mentally strong during tough, tough, tough situations, how to not let mistakes affect your, affect your performance, right? So the mental side of, of training, which is something high school, elementary school coaches don't really focus on specifically. You could come in, add value, uh, pre-season camp. So before the high school season starts, you can come in and run a, two, three, four-day preseason 
training camp for them. Okay, that's a I know a lot of coaches have done that in the past, but again, it comes down to building a connection with that local school and that local coach. Uh, workshops, masterclasses, so confidence workshops, nutrition workshops, how to get rec uh, recruitment workshops, how to get recruited to play at the pro level or the college level, uh, how to get a scholarship, stuff like that, really, really valuable. And if you've got experience of helping players achieve those, those things and you've got testimonials, you've got results already, right? Coaches will want to will buy into that. Okay. Because if you've done it before, you can do it again, may, and maybe with their players. And players will take that seriously as well. And then the next one, last one, tactical analysis report. Okay, so you can offer to, to come in, do a tactical analysis report on a game or a training session and provide a report to the coach in a way that he has never received before. So it could be a really detailed report on how the training session went, what needs to be improved on. And this could be more kind of coach education and player development type of report. I put tactical analysis because that's a common one coaches do um, offer. Like they attend games, would see how that team is working uh, tactically. But you can do it both ways. You can offer it where you go and watch the training session, provide feedback on that training session, what can be improved, what can we work on differently. Okay. And it's kind of a mentorship program, not only just for the coach, but obviously for the players as well. All right. So thank you for watching. If you need more help, again, visit the description below this video, number of ways you can reach out to me to get my help. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content and I'll see you on the next video.